All right, we're just finishing up the practice here on Sunday in Mankato, and we're joined by tight end right here, Rhett Ellison. Rhett, it's another training camp here in Mankato. And tell me what it's like to come back another year here, get yourself geared up for a season that people have tremendous optimism for. Yeah, it's always fun. Um, it's always fun to compete. You know, I think we have one of the most competitive teams I've been on since I've been here. Um, so, you know, sky's the limit. It's kind of how far, how hard we can push ourselves yeah. type of thing. Yeah, go blue collar type guy. When it takes blocking, here, here you come in. You know, doing a little bit of fullback activity in college. You know, do some H back here as well. Can you give fans an idea who don't really understand the difference between tight end and H back? Because you kind of alter in those two different positions. What's the difference in the role? Um, I mean, really, a tight end is an H back. H back is a tight. I mean, it's all kind of the same thing. It's really just the Y and the F, or some. It's the F position, right? Which can be a receiver, can be a fullback, can be a tight end. Um, so it's just. You're, you're kind of moved all over the place, you know. That you're asked to do a lot of different things. You're, you, you might be, you know, doing a lead block from a from the eye formation, or you might be out in the slot running a route, or you're just doing the regular tight end stuff. So it's just, um, it just kind of messes with the defense more. That F, that F position, you're just, uh, you're kind of all over the place. Where's the play in the playbook for you to take the run up the middle for the touchdown? <laughs> you get to ask Norv about that one. Okay. Well, we'll make sure that's on the list. Now, that's one of the things as well because we've seen you as a really reliable pass catcher. So, uh, you know, when you get in space, are there any routes that are going to develop for you over the season that will take you down the seam? Uh, that's that's a question for Norv as well. Um, you know, he's he's good at, at putting uh, players in situations that they're that they're best at. So he uh, kind of finds, you know, what our, what our best skills are and, you know, uses them on Sundays. You know, you've got to block linebackers every once in a while. You yeah. grew up with a dad who was yes. a linebacker. Yeah. Tell me what he taught you about how to take on a linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, my dad was, you know, he's probably different than most dads, um, football dads it is. He kind of let me find the game on my own. And then I think it was uh, once I got to high school, it was actually when the first time I played football was when I got to high school. And, uh, you know, he's just, he's never really pushed anything on me. He just was always, if I had questions, he'd help me out. But you know, for him, it's a it's a physical game. It's how hard you can bring it, how how down, downhill you can bring it, and stuff like that. So, for him, he just wants to see contact, lots of contact. Typical defensive player, right? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> well, you, you got Teddy Bridgewater now coming into almost his, his second full year. You know, you started yeah. most of the games last year for a quarterback for you to develop chemistry with them. How do you go about that? Is it mainly in practice or the preseason games, or a little bit of everything? Uh, it's a little bit of everything, and I think you know this system. I was impressed with him last year, just picking up this kind of system that quickly out of, you know, fresh out of college. Um, so it's just being familiar with the plays, the play calls, your receivers, the timing, the rhythm, you know, the, the speed of the game, you right. know. So everything kind of plays into, you know, the second year and how, how much better I think he'll be. You know, you, you come down here to camp, you get very few days off while you're down here. Yeah. When you finally do, big metropolis like, like Mankato, what do you do on a day off? Uh, we, usually I'll just uh, try to get my body healthy, get it ready to go. So either I'll just hang out, sleep, stretch, um, ice, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, or I'll, I'll head back downtown to my apartment and just relax for a little bit. Okay. And so it's a situation to where guys actually are going to let you sleep on a day off? Uh, for the most part, yeah. But, you know, a lot of us kind of wake up anyways at the crack of dawn. So it's... Uh, just utilizing your time. Occupational hazard. You used to get up at the crack of dawn. You just get up at the crack of dawn. Yeah, and then you just you know do something that's going to help your body for Absolutely. the rest of the rest of camp. Absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what. We'll make sure we drop by and talk to Norv. We'll find out where the reverse is for you. Find out where the fullback uh, handoff is, and when it happens, you'll remember us and know we told him to do that for you. <laughs> I appreciate it. No problem. Good luck this year. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate you dropping by. Yeah. From Mankato, I'm Tom Moore.